Right guys, I'm going to show you how to use Tough Liner. Really extremely good product. Me and my little puppy Cleo, we are going to be painting the dumper in the tub, aren't we girl? <clears throat> so I'm going to give her the spray gun and she's going to spray it. So, oh, there we are. You pretty little girl anyway, and you lovely. Anyway, this is not a dog video. Right, you're going to help me with the spray gun, girl? Good girl, right. Come on, you go and get a spray gun. Right, so, this stuff is really good stuff. I highly recommend this. This is better than, than stone chip all the way along. It's an American product. Um, so, yeah, basically, you have the hardener. Um, then you have, sorry, that's the hardener. So, this is the hardener. And then you have the, this is the actual, the, your protective coating. Now... In the actual kit, it does have this stuff. It's like a granule, it's like sand, like a gritty sort of stuff. Basically, what you do is you mix this in with that. That makes basically, um, if you're painting, say, for instance, a floor of a, uh, a trailer and you want it to be non-slip. Um, so basically, it gives you like a non-slip non effect. So what you do is you mix. The first thing you mix in, this one is a clear coat. So they do, they, it comes in black or clear coat. Now the reason it's called a clear coat is because you can add what color you want into it. So if you want to add green, for instance, you add green, you pour some green into that, uh, and then you shake it well, then you would add this. If you're doing, if you're painting non-slip, then you would need to shake this and put this in there for a non-slip. Um, so that's what you would do. To actually apply this, you, you do need a UBS gun, which is basically, gives you an example. Same gun you would use for stone chip, basically, if you buy the stone chip. So it's the exact same gun. Um, now, what I've done, obviously I'm painting the tub of the dumper and I want it to be in a primer. So I've mixed it up in a grey, just a grey paint that... Uh, trying to undo this with one hand maybe it's not a good idea I've done it so basically I've just used a gray um, just, uh, just just a gray a, a gray a gray tone um, and I've mixed that in with the clear liner because you can either paint like I said by the black or you can choose whatever color you want so that's what I've done I've painted it how I want it does come with um, some instructions but I've used it before it's really good stuff um, actually I might be able to show you something on here actually I could maybe put this on so basically it comes like this so <clears throat> this is how it is and this is kind of the effect you can get from it um, as you can see and then that is your non-slip so that's if you've put loads of loads of this stuff in it um, this is this stuff then obviously it becomes a non-slip so you can actually walk on it you won't slip on it it's got a really rough effect but the good thing about this particular product i have used it before um on, on my truck um and it's i used it on the bed of the truck and it's outstanding three years later the truck is still really good no problem so i really like this stuff it, it's really watertight as well um i really would recommend it it's it's not the cheapest in the world but it's not the expensive um it's reasonably priced um so this is basically what we're going to use as you can see if you look carefully at the effect it's given that's the effect it's given it through the whole thing so it kind of like it it, it makes it's ideal for something like this um it's really hard wearing and you know it's just i wanted to give this a little prep up a little bit of a clean up and and tidy this up a little bit um, so I'm really, you know, I'm really impressed with the way this is done. So now what I'm going to do is start working on the rest of the tub. And then what we'll do is we'll spray primer this whole tub again on top with a, with a primer. So I'm using this as like the base. Um, but yeah, that's, that's, you know, it's, it's pretty cool. I quite like the way it's come. It looks pretty good. So as you can see, little puppy Cleo done a good job of painting. Right, just a, a quick capture up on how to use this product properly um so basically this is your your protective coating 
this is the most important. You can buy this in clear or you can buy it in black. If you're buying it in clear, you can spray this product on by just pouring the hardener in there. Jump. And also this, um, which is your, your non-slip. So if you want it sort of non-slip, then obviously, you know, you, you pour this in there as well. If you want a non-slip surface, like a floor of something, a boat, something like that, ideal. This stuff can paint on anything. It is really good. You can paint it on plastic. You can paint it on metal. You can paint it on wood. It's really good. Fiberglass, it works on everything. It's really good. And it's really watertight. I always say, look it up on the website have a little look up it's a really good product um now obviously my procedure on what i'm doing today is i'm gonna have to mix a coloring because obviously I, I want it colored that's why I've, I've bought the the clear coat so you basically mix whatever color you want the gray green pink purple whatever color you want you mix into there give it a good shake for a good um two to three minutes then if you are doing a non-slip surface, you then would need to put this in here as well. And then you shake it, say two to three minutes again. Um, but obviously I'm not using this, so for today that's not a problem. Um, so then the very last thing to put in is the hardener. You tip the hardener in, a bit like two-pack, I guess. Um, put the hardener in, give it a good shake. And then the gun, you get your spray gun. That one there. So you use that. And then uh, that's it. You, you basically... You set, um, you set it around uh, between 44 to 58 PS, PSI. Um, I would recommend to spray um, this particular product. Um, obviously, if you're putting the grit in, if you are putting the grit in, then obviously you need to wind it down. So you, you're looking about 29, 29, 32, something like that, uh, PSI. I would try and keep it at 29 if you can. Um, if you're putting the grit in, so obviously, it, it, otherwise it, it'll blow it all over the place and it, it, it'll look a mess. But that's my advice on how to use this product. It does come with instructions, um, so you know, feel free to give this product a, a try, um, and I think you'll love it. It's a really good product. Um, I think you can order it online, um, or there are other places you can order it from. Um, I order it from. A company called E, sorry, L E Rent, which is uh, basically a paint supply. Um, L E Rent. I'll show you. Um, that's in there. That's who I get my stuff from. Um, that's where they're based. Great, great bunch of people. Really helpful. Um, believe me, they are really helpful. Um, they are probably the best paint suppliers I've ever come across. The knowledge is unbelievable and uh, they will bend over backwards to help you out. So I've always supported them. Um, I live over in West Sussex now. I used to be down in, in, in London, Wimbledon. I moved obviously uh, from Wimbledon up to West Sussex, but I used to drive all the way down to uh, New Malden because they got, they got a, a shop in New Malden. They just recently opened this new one up here, um, which I've just shown you just now in Farnham. So I've been driving to them and picking up stuff and they deliver stuff to me. Great bunch of guys. Um, and they do sell this product, um, I'm sure. But if you, you can buy it online, if you need to buy it online, I'm, I'm sure eBay or something like that will have this product as well. But I highly recommend it. It is really good. Um, so that's my advice on that.